everybody. Good Saturday morning. It's time for another chapter in the Word of God. Today we are in Revelation chapter 16. Chapter 16, the title is The Seven Bowls of God's Wrath. And this is what the Word of God says. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple telling the seven angels, Go and pour out on the earth seven bowls of God's wrath. So the first angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth. And harmful and painful sores came upon the people who bore the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. So you see right there, the first bowl is going to deal with sores and open wounds. And the, the, so the, the first bowl is going to be like, first wrath is going to be like boils on your body that, that will never go away. Then the second angel poured out his bowl into the sea and it became like the blood of a corpse. And every living thing that died was... And every living thing died that was in the sea. So again, we talked about a few chapters back. Uh, when the remember when the Nile River turned the blood, probably everything died. You know, well, again, the second angel, the second wrath, bowl of wrath, is that when the bowl when the when the bowl was poured out on the water, all the fish, are all, all the sharks, all the living creatures in the sea are going to die. That means there will be no more fishing industry. That's a shocker. The, the, third living, the third angel poured out his bowl into the rivers and the springs, and they became blood. And I heard the angel in charge of the waters say, Just, just, are, just are you, O holy one, who is and who was, for you brought these judgments. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink. It is what they deserve. Then I, And I heard the altar saying, Yes, Lord God the Almighty, true and just are your judgments. Now the rivers and the springs are going to be just like the last bowl. This one's going to be on the springs and the rivers, and this will be the blood of the saints that were martyred for their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the blood that's what the blood represents on the springs and rivers. Then the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and it was allowed to scorch people with fire. And they were scorched by the fierce heat, and they cursed the name of God, who had power over these plagues, and they did they did not repent to give him glory. Fourth bowl. The sun's going to get so hot that it's going to scorch people, and you, and you think that they would, they would get saved, would, would you? They'd say, Lord Jesus, save me. I believe in you. Well, I'm going to say what they do. They will cuss and curse God. He don't want to be here for that. The fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast. In, in, in its kingdom was plunged into darkness. People gnawed their tongues in anguish and cursed the God of heaven for their pain and sores. They did not repent of their deeds. That means this kingdom on, the, on this earth, on this earth at that time, it's going to be plunged into darkness. People are going to get upset. They're going to gnaw. They're going to they're gonna, gonna gnash their teeth. It's not going to be a pretty sight. Again, I told you again, get saved today. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river, great river, great river Euphrates, and its river was dried up, dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. And I saw coming out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet three unclean spirits like frogs. They were demonic spirits, performing signs who go abroad to the kings of the whole world to assemble them for battle on the great day of the God, on the great day. Of God Almighty, behold, I am coming like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake, keeping my keeping his garments on, that he may not go about naked and be seen exposed. And they assembled them at the place that is in Hebrew called called Armageddon. This is going to be the place where the final battle takes place. It's a big battle. It's somewhere in it's somewhere in the Middle East, it's going to be a big battle between the armies of heaven and the armies here on earth. And the armies in heaven will be, will defeat the armies here on earth at that time. The seventh bowl, the final bowl. The seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were flashes of lightning, rumbles, peals of thunder, and a great earthquake, such as there had never been since man was on the earth. So great was that earthquake. The great city was split into three parts. And the cities of the nations fell. And God, God remembered Babylon, the great, to make her drain her cup of 
the wine of the fury of his wrath. And every island fled away, and no mountains were, were to be found. And great hailstones, about 100 pounds, each fell from heaven on people. And they cursed God for the plague of hail, because the plague was so severe. You see, there'd be a mighty earthquake coming. This would be the big one. It'll shake the entire earth. It'll be so strong that it will it will make all the mountains, all the islands you'd like to go to. You gotta you like to go to Aruba, Cancun, St. Thomas, St. Lucia, all those wonderful islands, they're gonna be gone. God said that he's gonna sink them. Why? Because he has every right to do it. He put them out there to begin with. You say, Travis, Travis, I don't believe in an angry God. Oh, you will the first day you meet him. That's why that's why now that's why now you should you should accept the Lord Jesus Christ now. Now and, and make him make him your Lord and your Savior. Because you know what? Only God's enemies are are undergoing this in the book of Revelation. Only God's enemies are going to are, are de dealing with this. If you accept the Lord Jesus Christ today, you will not have to go through this. You will be taken to rap. You will be taken to heaven in that rapture when that happens. And none of the stuff I'm reading will ever occur in your future. So I'm highly encouraging you today. Get saved today. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And he will change your life. Guys, that's my message for you guys today. Watch, like, share, comment, subscribe. Guys, have a great day. God bless. Hit the notification bell. Twice get notified of all that I post when I go live. Have a fantastic day, everybody. God bless. And remember, you are loved by God. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you all.